Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Well, today I worked on the um, decomposed granite portion of the front yard here in Long Beach in our landscape makeover. And uh, we used uh, <clears throat> a California gold colored decomposed granite here. The areas that we have, we had a DG is sculpted out because of this particular portocarpus tree. It has a lot of different fruits. Here's all the different fruits that fall off of this tree throughout the year. And so the client wanted to put something over here so they could be able to rake it off instead of just having mulch there where it would be a challenge getting it out of the mulch. So we outlined the area of the, the drop zone, so to speak, of where the berries drop off of the tree onto the ground. So this particular area here is the area that we have as our drop zone. So we'll see in the days as we continue to work here how our drop zone fans out. But um, we put down our weed block fabric, we have our landscape edging in, and we compacted it up by hand. Didn't use a vibrator plate, I used the old fashioned tamper and tamped it all down. It's a good workout, nice and even. When we do the pathway, the next day or so, we'll have some uh, more DG I can put in along the edge there so that we don't have any shrinkage or gap areas along the edge of the, the bender board. And over here, you see we have an outline for our dry stream bed. I did the um, engineering to make sure that the water is going to flow towards this corner here, this left corner of the driveway. <clears throat> As we had the rain gutter come down off, probably have a pop-up emitter inside of the drain. I've used one of those concepts uh, on a job I did down in Lake Force. We had the drain come down and actually when the water builds up to a certain height inside of the drain pipe, there's a pop-up emitter that comes up and the water comes out and it flows out. So we may run that type of uh, system here. Instead of having to drop down into the stream bed, we'll have it come down maybe two or three feet and then pop up a pop-up emitter to make sure we have the drainage that we want to bring the water down towards the front edge of the property. And um, did work out here in the irrigation system yesterday on a broken line. So we had to come in and fix that. We used a blue lock fittings and PVC lock fittings to make this work. Actually the root here it created a break. So we had to go through and cut all this stuff out and basically bypassed all the rest of the heads that's on that in there. So we'll run over and put in a new irrigation system here. We're actually going to use a subsurface drip in order to water this parkway with the proposed carapia that we're going to put in. So this whole parkway will be carapia, utility ground cover. And so we're going to put in a subsurface drip instead of the conventional spray heads on this parkway. And continue our work in the planter bed areas. So that's where we're at here in Long Beach, California in our landscape makeover. A little bit of DG work, good workout for today. So I'll call the day and pack them up. Ed Wallace, tips and ideas, Midwest Landscaping, www.watchthemagicuniqueenvironments.com.